Well, hello, FPV pilots. Smooth virus, call sign virus here with you again. Uh, just another quick vlog. Today was a holiday here in the District of Columbia. And since most of us work for the feds, work for the man, today was a holiday. And uh, so kind of turned into a build day because it was raining this morning and it was windy. I probably could have flown, but uh, I got started building. Um, I've been working on the F1 Super Speed FPV wing today. Uh, got some stuff done. I'm just kind of deciding on wiring. So we're going to use the uh, Runcam Mini Swift, and I created kind of a cable here to connect this to to this um, 600 milliwatt. 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter. I've had this transmitter. I think this is the first one I ever bought. I've had this forever. So we're gonna put this in here and I'll probably power it off the uh, off the balance cord with a battery. This is the battery we're gonna use. I've also had this battery forever and I've never used it until now. Um, because I, I was flying a lot of park zone planes at the time. This was before I even got into FPV, and uh, I accidentally ordered a 4S battery instead of 3S. But now I have a use for it, so it's going in this. Anyway, I'll probably power the video transmitter off the uh, balance plug here, and I'll order some parts off Amazon to get that. So that should be here in a couple of days see my soldering set up over there um, I'm considering putting this in there simply because I bought this like years ago and I've never used it never even took the stabilizer out of the package so it's brand new um, I don't know I'm on the fence some of the race uh, some of the race pilots kind of look down on using a stabilizer and I don't think I really need it um, if it's as stable as my C1 chaser is it might just be a waste but uh, it might help with launching so I'll figure it out tomorrow <laughs> or before the weekend I want I want to have this built before the weekend gets here and uh, do a maiden flight this weekend so Still got to get the FPV camera and transmitter in there. I ordered a X4R Free Sky receiver. We'll stick that back here, back in the aft part of the uh, fuselage. And we'll run this on 2.4 control and 5.8 video. So, the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick was uh, I won all these antennas at the pilot's raffle for a uh, pecan patch back in June. I guess these are the new. These are new from IB Crazy from Video Aerial Systems. I guess this is a 5.8. That's big. These are big antennas. I got a pair of them. I got a pair of these. These Cyclones. And uh, then I got this other one. The Dura spec. So I was kind of thinking about using these on the F1 wing, but I think I want a little multi rotor at that uh, pilot's rifle too. I'll probably use this one on that little multi rotor, little quadcopter. As you can see, I'm sitting here watching RC videos on YouTube. We've got uh, Andrew Newton's page up here <laughs> in RC groups. Um, so yeah, that's about all we got for tonight. Uh, I'm going to go start cooking dinner here in a minute. So I actually have to pack all this stuff up. This is the antenna. I'm probably going to, I've had this antenna forever. I think this antenna was on my penguin back in 2013 when I first started flying, uh, FPV. So I've had this a long time, so it's going to get put back to use because we'll just, uh, We'll stick it through there like that. 
and uh, run 5.8 on this guy. So we'll decide on the um, stabilizer. Maybe I'll finally have a use for that thing. I bought it and just never, never wound up needing it. Um, anyhow, just a quick update for October the 9th. 2017 and uh, we're gonna wrap this up this week and uh, hopefully fly it this weekend coming up if the weather holds and I haven't checked the weather yet so you guys have a good one and uh, this is virus and we are out <laughs>